I recently happened to attend an event called Funnel Hacking Live where one of my mentors and gurus called Tom Bilayu was there in person and I had a fantastic time attending his session and this video I'm going to be sharing a few learnings that I had from my few takeaways from Tom's session. The first things first and I love this analogy that he used was that we human beings need to play our games at uh, our games of life just in the way that artificial intelligence does which means when you see a computer playing the game or the way artificial intelligence plays the game on the computer all it knows is just the rules of the game it has no other clue it does not focus on failure or it does not focus on anything else all it focuses on is success it does not care what people think or even whether it's going to fail or succeed that's exactly how we human beings should play in the game of life. When we focus too much on what if I fail, what if uh, what, what are people going to think about my performance, what if I don't succeed, the more we get embroiled in those kind of thoughts, the more we lose track of success point where we are really headed to. So every time you're playing the game, any kind of game, one thing that we can constantly remind ourselves is to play like how artificial intelligence does. I super love this analogy guys and it helps every time you play your game. The second thing is we human beings have this insane ability to adapt to situations because think about it, we are, we are the ultimate adaptation machine. What we are actually doing it is we are taking in new information and we are processing it all the time. Therefore, you're playing this game of learning and skill acquisition all the time. The moment you stop learning, the moment you stop honing your skill, you fail to adapt to given situation and given circumstances. The best thing for us to do is learn to adapt. Third thing is, we need not judge ourselves constantly from the lens of the moment. The momentary failures need not define us. We need to judge ourselves from the lens of a lifetime. When he said this, I thought that's a very important takeaway from this line. This line, Think about it, guys. We usually end up judging ourselves just from how we did in a, on a, particular, in a particular test or an exam or a day or a project or a situation. But if you think about it, think about judging yourself from the lens of a lifetime, there have been so many successes that we have, I mean, we have conquered peaks, we have gone from success to success. And that's how, that's what makes us feel good about ourselves. That's an important part. The, the fourth thing is, the biggest thing in life is not money, not success, not your fame, but it is how you feel about yourself, how you feel about your credibility. That's what's huge. And, and in this particular case, I think self-delusion is something that's going to help us. When you're self-deluded into success, that's going to be working in your favor because you're going to be, you're going to be raising your own credibility in your own eyes. So that's a big win-win here. The next thing is you need on failures, I, I love what he said on failures, that you need to become immune to failures. Failures is the path of failure is the most information rich path. It gives you information on what worked for you, what did not work for you and what is it that you want to be doing to uh, course correct the situation and move forward by failing fast and failing forward. That was a good one on failures. The last one was that human beings need not build their self-esteem around being you know either smart or good or successful we can build it around being a learner we can build it around on our ability to to face any situation you know to to stand naked in a situation that's where our self-esteem counts and not just fame or success which is temporary but having a learner attitude and having the the character to endure whatever comes your way goes a long long way so these were some of my powerful learnings guys. Tom has shared his main success. I mean, when someone asked him, you know, what is your theory of, of fame? I mean, you've, you've come so far, you're impacting millions. What's kept you going? And the answer that he gave was relentlessness. He, was, he said, I, I've been on my path, come whatever may on me. Because he said, once you have the grit and the determination, you can keep going whatever comes your path. And that's an important one, guys. So for those of you who want to learn more on his theory, I mean, he's got his YouTube channel called The Impact Theory. Watch his YouTube channel and follow him on Instagram. And you've got good learning, daily motivation to make your days.